Okay, with, with Genoma, we, uh, we can build our custom rigs, but we can even uh, use a, the Genoma motion capture rig uh, so we can rig a biped and import uh, motion capture animation using the FBX uh, file format so we can import um, motion capture from Motion Builder without any problem. That's what I'm going to, to show you. This is a really uh, easy workflow um, in general. We're starting from scratch here. I can delete the scene. We are in Modeler and if I open the Genoma preset window, you can see that among the others we have this motion capture rig um, that can be added to the character and adapted to the character, of course, using the modeling tools we have in Lightweight. I already did that, not so well for the hands, that could be, you know, better sweet, but it's okay. Um, so we already have our skeleton in, uh, in the model. All I have to do is to export the character in layout, and we can generate our rig, basically. As you can see now, we have some uh, orange controls that will let us correct the, mm, the motion capture animation, uh, adding animation over the motion capture animation if we want or we need. So we can rotate in any direction, as you can see. So the first operation I have to do, this is my lightweight scene. And this is the scene I'm, that I'm going to use to import my, my motion capture back. The first thing I have to do is to export the same scene in FBX format so I can load it in, in the motion builder. Let's do that. Let's give it a name so I can recognize it. This is our zombies. girl scene. Oh, this, sorry. I, that's better. So now I'm exporting the file. It's pretty fast. It's done. And I have to launch Martian Builder. We have to wait a little. I already clicked on it. That's where yeah, it's loading. Takes a little, but we're here. So what I can do is to is import to import my my FBX scene. Of course, I have to go and secret content, zombie mockup scenes, and here we are. So now I have my my model here in Motion Builder with all the textures, all the UV maps, all the materials, and of course the meshes and the bonds of, of the rig. Uh, of course, this is a, uh, what Genoma is generating is a standard motion capture rig that matches the characterization you can do in, in Motion Builder. So let's do this characterization, and what I have to do is to find out the hips of the character, select character from here so we can characterize our model as a biped of course so now this model is ready to get some motion capture in motion builder we have several clips we can choose from uh, let's try to find something that looks a little uh, walk walk we can use the water jog why not um, so we merge this animation, you can see in background, there is a new skeleton with motion capture added. Now what I have to do is to tell my character to follow the new motion capture I have just imported. To do that, I select it as a source, and this is the, the result we have. Before exporting the scene back to, to Lightwave, I have to plot the animation on my bones, so let's plot it to the skeleton. 
Okay. Then we can select all my, my, my character and export just a selection as zombie girl scene mocap added. Okay, it's done. Now back to Lightwave. I can use a lot of that is from Sim option, Lightwave. Select the FBX file directly. And what I'm going to do is to select the merge only motion envelopes. This will match these different objects, different uh, bonds we have in the scene with the uh, FBX file and load just the motion from there. So I'm not destroying my scene now, I'm just adding the motion capture to the bonds. And that's done. I can press play. Now my animation is in lightweight. Of course, I, I plot, I, I choose a very short animation. But we can choose another one and repeat the process. Uh, let's try to... Jump from, saturated. Let's try to walk slow to walk here. Okay. Maybe I can just... How it works, huh? This software. Sorry, I don't know the timeline, Motion Builder, very well. But since now we have here many frames, Less frame, okay, we can export 42 frames, so it's cool. Uh, let's choose the, the new motion, so we're, we're going to use, oops, this. Okay, let's, let's skip this, let's skip this for now. So the, my, my motion stops at 24, let's limit the timeline to 24. Now, what is cool, we, we may notice that the motion capture uh, is working well, the animation is there, but the position uh, of the arms can be uh, tweaked a little bit, so we can do it easily, just selecting one of the controls and doing that for both the arms. And now we have a different position. Of course, well, what we can do with this control is, is to even animate, why not, where our character is looking at. Maybe I select too many controls, should be enough, okay. So now we have this animation added that wasn't in our original motion capture file. So this is what is possible to do with Genoma and with the FBX, FBX file implementation we have in Lightwave, which really uh, communicates really well with, uh, with a Motion Builder and all the software that uses FBX, such as Unity and other uh, applications. So let's go back to, to Genoma, out of the land of motion capture this time. And let's demo it as a, you know, a character tool. As I was saying, with Genoma you can create your, a model, your own rigs. They are going to be transformed in a skeleton with, um, with controls in layout. Let's open the Genoma preset system. And let's try to build something, okay? I will start adding a leg let's use the this scatterbit leg why not okay so I can move this leg around and scale it and change the position of the joint same my object send it to layout 
and generate the read. So now I can move my IK target around and move the vectors, target. I can define any pose for my leg. What is cool is that it's very easy since we are dealing uh, with uh, this rig and modeler with using modeling tools to duplicate, just mirror our leg, update the rig, and get now these two legs in the same scene. I can do the same. I can copy them, rotate them 90 degrees, paste them again. Now that's what I get. Update again. And now we have this four-legged creatures. Now we can create a root so we can control uh, the four uh, legs with just one control. To do that, let's open the Genoma preset window again and let's select the uh, root, which I'm going to move here in the right place. And I, now I can connect these four legs to the root. To do that, I use what I call connectors. Let's open the Genoma preset again. Okay, this is what I need. So now I have four connectors I can use to connect the root to the joints. Let's do that. Obviously, using a modeling uh, option, which is welding weld points. So we're proceeding with the connection. Last tip and is this one. Okay, I can save it, update the rig again. So now I have this uh, single control, which I can use to, to get this kind of motion. I can rotate it, I can move it around and get this. And I, I can save this, uh, this rig in, in my presets so I can reuse it anytime I like. And so it's very easy to produce a huge quantity of, of presets ready for any, any project. As you can see, we have 